are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope and pray that you are enjoying this last day of 2020. Uh, Thursday, December 31st, I'm out taking care of some business, paying bills. Who likes paying bills? I don't. But I know you got to pay them in order to keep things, keep it on, um, and just live. But I'm proclaiming to be debt-free in 2021. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm working to get there, okay? So I'm out paying bills, paying mortgages uh, for properties, as well as taking care of some things tonight things I'm going to do. Honestly, I ain't doing nothing that I don't normally not do without the pandemic. I'm still going to go to God in prayer. I'm still going to go from the window to the wall and, and, and be in my own house. Okay. Thankful to have a roof over my head. But now I'm getting ready to go into one of my favorite grocery stores, which is called Fresh Time uh, and get a few healthy items for this evening. We're having crab legs and some other stuff. I don't know what, but we're going to put some things together. My boys are, they got an Airbnb. They getting ready to party in this pandemic. So I had to give them the spill to know that y'all got old parents. Y'all need to keep it clean, keep it safe, keep it circle small. But talking to young adults during this time, it's like, talking to the window and the wall so let's go ahead and walk into fresh time i'm gonna give you a little snippet of what they have in there if you don't have one in your location in your area they got some great healthy stuff in here it's a farmer's market type of market and it's just all that and more so stay tuned let's go into one of my favorite stores i love this place because they have a variety of different foods healthy foods cheeses it's kind of like an entertainment store to me perhaps i love honey goat cheese that is great on some crackers they have an entourage of just different kinds of cheeses you probably never heard of or that you typically would not get from your regular grocery store i also love the mini dips that they have uh, this is actually one of my favorites it's on sale today they have an entourage of different meats seafoods that again you probably would not see in your traditional grocery store and it's just a really really great place to come shop for different foods and again entertaining is one of my repertoires and i love the carrots to make smoothies with uh, they have a lot of green healthy vegetables as well as healthy uh, proteins and things of that nature we need to add in our diet that brain food is good good belly i love that because for one while i was having a few issues with my stomach but anyway um the honeys are really good and i am really motivated to try 2021 healthier consuming more things that are good elderberry you know to get rid of all that other stuff that we have congestion and all that is really good so check out elderberry they have great honeys i mean just a lot of different my things. next so. stop is one of my favorite places the goodwill <laughs> i'm gonna hit them up before the year is out hopefully you can hear me because i got my mask on my animal print mask and i'm going in here to see what they got because i need to get a a picture for the house that we're putting on the market it's a wall and a space that's completely naked and i gotta find something to put there everything that i found in my storage cabinet and all of that did not look well there so i wanted to pop when people walk in the door so i'm headed to the goodwill which is a great place to stage a home do you hear me so this is what i'm going to do now then i'm going to go to the goodwill across the street if I don't find anything, I'm going to close my eyes to everything else. I don't buy nothing else and I'm going to walk up out of there. That's the goal. So as I came in here, I was really trying to pass up all the clothes, but I did find a couple of cute shirts that I could not resist not putting in my basket. But, um, and then I found a shirt and the lady was looking at me all crazy. I guess she was looking like I missed that shirt. So I got it. It was a name brand black and white shirt and it was really cute. And I know I can pair it. There it is. I can pair it with some leggings or whatever and jazz it up. So let me come go do what I came in here to do. And that is again, to find something to stage the home with. They have a ton of great pictures on the low, like three dollars <laughs> you cannot beat that when you are staging a home and sometimes i'm doing multiple homes so it really works into my budget to come into the thrift store and find some things to put on the wall and as you can see this picture here is really really nice but i was kind of baffled because you can clearly see it was one price that they gave three dollars and wherever it came from before 
it was $235 and $199. But the Goodwill thought they were going to get $3 out of me. Wrong answer. Because I made it happen when I got up to the cash register and um, got a different price. But I thought those were so cute. And again, it'll go with the decor that I am putting, um, staging the home with. So again, great prices. Ralph Lauren, I did get that red shirt because red is one of my favorite colors. Then I saw this bench, $6. If I had some room in my car, I clearly would have put that in there, but I had no room. But it was definitely a great buy. I would have um, recovered that seat and perhaps maybe um, painted the, the, the wood down there because it was a little chipped. Then this little thing here was $20. It's like a little cosmetic center. Um, you know, a great go great as a display home. I would have painted that white or whatnot. Didn't have space in my car as well. You're going to do great and amazing things. Yes, we will in 2021. Looking forward to all of that. So I found, again, some great things in here. Accents, a accessories even these candle holders i hate it because i did not get them and i found a picture at another store and those would have looked great across it look that's going in my home office right there but uh yeah some cool things xoxo i guess that means love <laughs> i think that's what it means but anyway i thought it was cute so i'm gonna paint that as well and put that in my office my home office at home got it for a dollar and then this vase i don't know what i'm gonna use it for but i did buy it as you can see got a ton of stuff in my cart and this right here is just a little tray it came from tarjay and i think it was originally priced at like 21 dollars harvest blessings holiday season throughout the year mom's diner i'm either gonna put that in my house or in my display homes i love books too that means i'm partying because i'm reading i'm learning and being becoming a better me so that's a um pillowcase i'm gonna put that in my office or somewhere this right here i started to get it then i said i have too many sweaters that are gray but it's name brand style and co can't beat that but eight dollars they must be losing their mind uh-uh i'm at the cash register now let me get the heck up out of here because i've done some damage but not really forty dollars that's not bad for everything that i got so i think i won winning is my forte uh, just finished shopping in the goodwill and I got some great deals. I mean, seriously, all that that I got, I spent $40. I said I wasn't going to buy any clothes. I lied, okay? Because <laughs> it was 50% off the blue uh, tag. And I probably got maybe three shirts, three nice shirts. And then I got um, a skirt. I was going to get some jeans too, but I got enough jeans. So I didn't need that. So look, I know I, I made this commitment since it's, it's the 31st. Um, and it's not the first yet. I'm going, I got my stuff. I said, I'm going to buy no more clothes because where the heck am I going? I, I ain't been nowhere. And I pretty much wear the same thing in the house every day because I ain't been nowhere. <laughs> Except when I go out to show property. And most of the time, again, I have the same thing on, but, uh, these were great deals. And I'm sure these, this Corona situation is going to evaporate and, uh, we're going to be back to normal and we can look cute and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm not disappointed, but starting tomorrow, <sighs> January one, I'm on a diet from buying anything that I can wear for the simple reason that I probably have bought more things that I can wear in a warm since we've been in this pandemic. But um, I got some great deals for um, the house, the display, the um, staging that I'm doing for the house that we're selling. And let me just tell you something. If you do not ask, you will not receive. There were two pictures in there and they had them priced. I, I know you're gonna see it in the video, prior to me talking right now but they were like 199 and 295 marked down from the retailer where they were and the goodwill had them at three dollars i went to the register and i asked the gentleman that was ringing me out i said can you guys reduce the prices since they i clearly see that they were marked for um less than what you guys are asking he told me no i don't make the prices look dude i know you don't make the prices but let me speak to the manager the manager came up and look god bless him because he gave me both of those pitches one dollar a piece ask and you shall receive 2021 i'm coming for you <laughs> so let's go over across the street and i'm just gonna run in there to see what they got eyes closed i'm not gonna buy anything that's my promise to me 
Now I'm headed into the family store. This is not one of my favorite thrift stores because sometimes I think they are a little high, but I'm going in here to see if they have maybe one or two accents. And a while ago, I got a super nice table that was on um, white Pottery Born or something like that. I think that's the name of Pottery Born. And it was in the store Pottery Born for like $500. It's a table that I got. It's gold. And I got it out of here for $20. Don't play, okay? <laughs> I'm coming for you for bargains, deals, discounts, even into 21. So let's go in here and see what they got. As I mentioned, this is not one of my favorite thrift stores, but sometimes you can get great deals in here and sometimes you can't. We're going to go here and see if I can wheel and deal and see what I can do. out the store manager saw me coming in and he said we close in 30 minutes i said it won't get, be that long i went in there i found a mirror for 12.99 and i found a pillow that i'm gonna put in my house but anyway i got something to put above that couch and i'm so excited because it is going to really give depth a mirror is always something that you can decorate with that gives depth to a room so we'll see how it looks i'm going to do it tomorrow so heading over there to uh, the grocery store to get my black eyed peas tomorrow i'm cooking everything veggie uh black eyed peas as well as um some cabbage um and some other stuff but it's gonna be a all veggie day tomorrow so if my people don't like it too bad because that's what we having tomorrow so i'm going to head over there because unfortunately <laughs> when you get black eyed peas if you go into an area where the tradition is popular you will not find them so i am in an untraditional area and i hope to find them let's bet on that that i find them okay <laughs> So you want to see what I'm cooking? Okay? Yeah, yes, do you guys no, have food? Okay. Yes, we do. We got so we have uh, we have some ah. we have some uh we have some potato pies. Okay. Pie. You have we... Wow. Right, you have wow. the chicken and biscuits and cornbread and you see the yes. brisket, macaroni, uh black eyed peas, rice, cabbage, oh um, my god, kale greens. And we have peach All cobbler, these are from too. my new line of frozen foods. Peach cobbler, you know wow. it. And blueberry cobbler and sweet potato wow. pies and my Watching Patty on TV, I decided to go ahead and pull some things out that I bought at the store. This black bean five layer dip was absolutely delicious. I didn't think it was going to be that good, but it turned out to be scrumptious dark chocolate hummus dessert hummus <laughs> who would have ever thought it is delicious you can put it on crackers uh, pretzels more so and i dipped it in with strawberries and i must tell you i will definitely buy this again because it is one of my favorite um appetizers that i bought so let's see how it tastes so there's the strawberries and i'm dipping the chips into this bean layer dip it looks really good and it tastes even better oh my god i could not stop eating it it was actually what i did not think <laughs> that it would be uh this hummus chocolate dip strawberry wash the strawberries off of course and 
twirl it around a little bit and it was scrumptious as well if you like chocolate and you want a little healthy component to it this is a great choice chocolate hummus yum oh yum oh yum i would definitely buy both of those again as you can see i'm in happiness right now now <laughs> thank you sweetie <laughs> okay was it hard work you did a great job okay thank you So every New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, we eat crab legs, and I think about a lot of people do, but here's some of my secret ingredients. This crawfish shrimp boil is absolutely delicious. Pouring it in after, or actually in the beginning of putting the crab legs into the pot, letting them boil a little bit, had the fireplace lit because it was just one of those days. It was brutally cold this weekend, so the fire was a perfect accent. Now I am taking these crab legs out and about to put them into the oven because you, when you leave them in the water that long, not even long, when you're boiling them, they tend to be too watery. So I like to put them in the oven and dry them out for about a good two to five minutes. And they are simply delicious when you take them out. They're easier to crack when you put them in the oven and dry them out. So here is my crab boil. Got the crab legs, got the corn and the potatoes. Oh, that scrumptious crab. Well, anyway, it was an amazing evening. It was just simple, sweet, and we are prepared for a new year. Thank you, Jesus.